Hello, what's up everybody? It's Fran here with another video full of tips and strategies to help you create great content and amplify your brand. Thank you so much for being here and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to get notified with future updates. So I've been watching some of my previous videos about how to create an HTML signature using your Mac or PC and also using it on your iOS device or Android. And I found that some people find some issues in you know replicating the method or using those HTML generators that I used in previous videos. If you want to watch those videos, uh, please have a look here on the link above. And otherwise, if you want to follow along with this method, please do so. What we're gonna do in this video, we're going to basically use a free method. You don't have to pay any subscriptions. You don't have to deal with uh, all sort of stuff like third party companies. As long as you have the right images and the right uh, icons for your signature, we're gonna be able to create our own. So the main issue of creating a signature is to actually show the logo and the images of your social media icons properly correctly to the sender so whenever we send a signature out it always look different or the size it doesn't look uh, proportionate to the text to the rest of the text etc so in this video hopefully we're going to sort that out so whether you have a mac or pc you can follow along anyway i'm going to be using a mac uh, because um, that's what i have uh, but if you have a pc it's pretty much the same because we're going to be using html and whether you have text edit uh, on your mac or whether you have another editor for your windows is going to be the same essentially so the first step and um, just to show you graphically what we're going to do so you can follow along is to use a website called fast.io and by the way this video is not sponsored by them i'm not getting paid uh, i just found them online and i test this out on different platforms and it works so far uh, so what you need to do is basically go to fast.io and we're going to basically open a free account with them. They have a, a few tiers in terms of subscriptions, but they have a free account. And also we're going to uh, link that to our uh, drive, one of the virtual drive you have on the internet. Could be Google Drive, could be Dropbox or any other, uh, but you're gonna see which are the options uh, in a minute. But in this case, I'm gonna be using Google Drive because I have a Google account and I think most of us have a Google account. If you don't have one, just go to Google and create one, it's free. And it gives you 16 gigabyte of space. 16 or 15 gigabyte of space uh, for free. Once you actually link these two uh, guys together, what we're gonna have essentially is going to be a web page. This, this web page is where we're going to upload all our images or our social media icons as well. So for your logo, we're going to upload that. So whether you have a JPEG logo or PNG, and doesn't matter whichever format you have, your social media icons as well, that will work same way. So you're going to have a JPEG or PNG. And for each individual social media icons, you would have to basically upload uh, those into the web page as well. So after you've done that, each individual image is going to have a URL. So you're going to have a URL for your logo, a URL for your Facebook, for instance, icon. Uh, you're going to have a logo. Sorry for my writing. You're going to have a URL for your uh, Instagram icon, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So these URL are going to be pasted into the HTML file that I actually provided in this video. So if you want to download that, you can do it in the description below. So just find that out. So this is the first step. Step one. So the step two is to open Download the file, first of all, download the HTML that I provided. Step two. And open it up in your HTML editor. In this case, I'm gonna be using text edit. And we're gonna basically edit it with your information. Edit your info. And then for the logo, we're going to basically delete my logo uh, URL and put your URL instead. So the URL that you created here is going to be pasted into here. And same thing for your social media icons. I provided two HTML signatures down below. So uh, whichever you prefer, you can download and modify. I'm gonna be using only the one with the logo because it's shorter. And then the third step is to basically open up the HTML that you saved here uh, into a browser. The browser that I suggest to open that in is uh, Chrome. So make sure you open Chrome 
um, if you don't have Chrome, download it, it's free. And then you can see the HTML uh, on that. And then we're gonna copy that and paste it into your favorite email program. So whether you have Outlook, whether you have uh, Google Mail, whether you have um, um, uh, Apple Mail, doesn't matter, or Thunderbird or whatever you have, doesn't matter, um, and paste it there. For Apple devices, for Apple users essentially, uh, there is a method to uh, copy this HTML into Mail, which I'm going to show you towards the end. So stick with me, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that for Mac users. Uh, for uh, Outlook users, you need to just uh, copy and paste that into your settings within Outlook to uh, in order to replicate that signature. So that's what we're going to do. That's that. These are the three steps. I know it sounds and it looks very complicated, especially for my writing, but but I'm, I'm promise you it's not going to be that complicated uh, if you follow the step um, as I do them here. So let's get started and I hope you have fun. So the first step is to create your free account on Fast.io uh, by going to sign up for free. There are three different tier here of prices, but you just need to choose the free one. And then we're going to create a free account. I'm going to be using a Gmail account. As you see, I already use a Gmail account. I'm going to use another one. The password, choose your own password. Now in here is asking you for a credit card or card information, even though they're not going to charge you anything, but this is just for a security reason that they're not going to charge you anything. And just because they want to keep that information protected, especially because we're going to create a web page on the internet that we're going to store some stuff on. So they want to have at least the identity that you are a real person. Just going to put my own uh, card here and I'm going to hide this up. And I'm going to click on that and click on sign up. So you can do the same. And there we go. Now we have our site uh, here, our account created. We have to then click on let's begin and create a new site. It's going to be our page essentially. And then we're going to name it something. I'm going to name mine Major Media. And then we can choose a storage provider. In this case, you have quite a few here uh, that you can choose from. But I'm going to use Google Drive because it's already linked to my account. Um, it's easy peasy to do and press connect Google Drive now and then I'm gonna put my email address there so fast IO is going to ask you to access to your Google account we're gonna say allow so we can access to the content and I was going to create the uh, web page. In this case, Major Media has been taken because I did this before. I'm going to call it Major Media, Major Media 1. It doesn't matter. And create site. So your site is going to be your name dot um, uh, io. That's how it's called. So now the website is being created. We're going to click on done. The second step is to add your uh, images into this page. So we're going to go into add file that is going to link automatically to your Google Drive and then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to upload my logo. So the logo that I've got is this. Again, if you have different sizes, make sure you have the right size it has to be exactly the same size that you want to see everywhere. You drag and drop it in there. There we go. You got that. Uh, if you want to have social media icons, you can need to do the same thing. So once it's there, we're going to go back to Fast.io here on the top. We're going to basically refresh the page. Okay, we're going to just go back to the site here on the left. Now we have our site. We can go to Files. We can view the site. And essentially, you're going to have this uh, this logo here. Now we're going to click on it to view it. This is the real size of the logo. And this is the link we're looking for, the one on top. So we're going to basically copy this link. And we're going to paste it in the second step into our HTML signature. See you there. So once you downloaded the HTML signature uh, HTML that I provided in the description below, double click on it to see how it looks. So mine looks like this with the uh, logo. 
So what you need to do is simply just change this logo with your own logo and change the text as well with your own information. Simply right click on it and open that into our text edit. Now with text edit, if you click on it and open it up, if you don't see what I see here, which is the actual HTML language, means that you have to go into text edit on the top and the preferences and make sure that under open and save, your first option here is ticked. So that option is to display HTML files as HTML code instead of formatted text. So what that means is if you untick that and I reopen the file, it's gonna look like the signature that we saw before in Chrome, which we don't wanna see at the moment because we want to uh, basically edit the back end of our HTML. So we're gonna tick that box, we're gonna close this file and reopen it again. It's gonna look like this essentially. So now what we can do, on the section where it says HTTPS Major Media I am fast.io. This is my logo that you basically now can change with yours. So I can actually go here, highlight that. And that's what we're gonna do until the end here. And then we're gonna paste ours in there. So you can do the same thing for the full name. You have the email address here as well. You can change the phone number, the fax, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you want to add another line, all you need to do is simply highlight these three rows together. Command C, Control C if you're on Windows. Go down and paste it again. Make sure that you are within this, uh, you know, this uh, piece that you see here at the top, at the bottom, and then save it. You can go to File, Save It, close it up. So if I now double click on it, I can see now my logo, my new information there, etc, etc. So this is how you um, modify that. Once you're happy with your uh, logo, the third step is to copy what you see here in Chrome. In this case, I'm going to do select all, or you can do edit, select all, or command A. Uh, if you are on Mac, if you are on Windows, is control A. And then we're going to copy this. You're going to go Command C or Control C, and then we're going to paste this into your favorite program, uh, email program. So in this case, I'm going to use my Apple Mail. So when I go here, I'm going to go to my preferences, and on the signature, you can create a new signature. Now, for Mac users, be very careful on this because you cannot just paste what we just copied directly here. We would have to do an extra step. We would have to create a new message first, and then go to the body of the letter, of the email and just paste the signature there. So this is how it looks on uh, the browser as well. So we're gonna now command A, select all and copy it. And now we can close this. We don't have to save it. We can go back to settings and we're gonna name this Majin Media, name it the, the way you want. And then we're gonna remove that and paste our signature there. And now we need to drag this into your account. If you have multiple accounts, I'm going to be dragging this into my email here, info and major media. We're gonna close this. So I'm gonna open a new message and I'll make sure the account is correct. I'm gonna choose mine now. So mine is if info at majormedia.com. And then on the signature here on the right hand side, I'm gonna choose major media, the one we just created. And there we go, I've got my image here, nice uh, and clear my information and I'm ready to send an email out. So I can choose to send this to my iOS device or Android and then uh, copy that into my uh, settings and then I can use that over and over. Now I heard by the time of this recording that iOS 13 and 14 on the Apple iPhones have some issues and even iPads as well, have some issues in showing properly. Um, so hopefully they're gonna fix that issue or there must be some sort of a fix but we, which I haven't checked. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, if you have uh, that sort of issue on your device, just leave a comment down below and let me know if you sort that out or if you need some help and I'm gonna find out the fix. At the moment I'm looking for the fix as well for my device but on my Mac it works uh, perfectly okay. Uh, hopefully they're gonna fix that with the next update. Uh, but this is how to create a free HTML signature for your Mac or PC. And you can use this pretty much everywhere in any in any uh, mail program. So I hope this video has been useful. And if you have any questions, the best uh, place to start a conversation is down below in the comment. If you like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you just uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload new videos. So it's been a while since I haven't uploaded a new video, but hopefully, uh, I'm going to see you soon with other tips and strategies here on my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next.